Tell me, how does it feel to be in the World Cup semifinal? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, you know, especially for a nation that in the last World Cup didn't win one game, and you know, coming here and being able to compete is, um, you know, an awesome thing. Um, a couple of uh, the first try. Let me speak about that first because it was an outrageous dummy. Before going over, and tell me about that finish as well. Uh, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty incredible, right? Um, yeah, I think I don't know. It was just something. Like, it was just something completely random, and um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just moments later after you scored that try, you set up another try with a, an amazing crossfield kick oh. right across the field and it's, the ball's picked up and it's gone. What I think that was was that the best three minutes you've played for PNG? Tell me about it. Uh yeah, yeah I think it's probably the, one of my better kicks. Um, you know, in the first game it wasn't very um my kicks weren't much like weren't on very much and um you know, just being able to pull off that kick, you know, gave me a lot of confidence and yeah. Um, we spoke to your head coach uh, before. He said after the first half he wasn't really happy. It was 18 0. In the second half, he scored 50 over 50 points, 52 points. So tell me what changed uh, during the break. Um, you know, I think it's just uh, being able to sit everyone down and just be able to take a moment to, you know, be able to reset ourselves and just, you know, um, say that we need to hold the ball. And, you know, having possession is, you know, a really big thing in our game. And I think that we did that really well. Next up is is a game with England, which will determine who finishes top of the group. How much of a challenge will that be, and how much are you looking forward to it? Because you're playing, you know, one of the host nations. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, such a good thing, especially after the Test match back in 2019, I think it was. And um, you know, it'll be really good for our girls to be able to, um, you know, work really hard and, you know, go level up from, you know, where we've come. So yeah, it'll be really good. Would you say you're a better team than you were in 2019 when you beat England? Um, I just think that uh, we've had a lot more time to prepare and I think that, um, you know, we've had two weeks here prior to the, the competition starting as well as Prime Ministers as our, you know, our trial to see where we're at and, um, yeah, I think we've come a long way, so yeah. You've got Tara Mox on your team who plays in for Leeds Rhinos. Leeds obviously has a number of England players, so will you be picking her brain? Asking for any weaknesses uh, <laughs> of her, any of her club teammates? Yeah, hopefully she'll be able to give us some insights. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. What is, uh, you're obviously now through to the semi-final, we know that. But what is the goal now for the remainder of the tournament? Is it just putting on a good show for the people back home? What was the, the ambition now? Um, you know, I think we really want to compete and show that we're here. And we want to make a statement. And, um, you know, like we really have the team to take it all the way. And I think that we can really, you know... Um, make a statement about PNG Rugby League. So, personally, for you, um, what does it mean to be playing at this World Cup, and what is it like to be playing out on a massive stadium like in Hull? Because it's a big ground. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's such a massive blessing, honestly. And uh, you know, I have a one-year-old son at home, and um, you know, just being able to be here and experience this, and you know, only being 20 years old, I think this is you know such a valuable ex uh, valuable experience, and I think that you know this will carry on the rest of my rugby league career so yeah it's pretty exciting. How hard is it to have a one-year-old son back home? You have to obviously leave your family over to come here and play that must yeah. be very difficult. Yeah you know it is difficult um, you know his first birthday was uh, only last week I think or the week before so um, that was pretty hard but I think that you know um, he won't remember it when he's older so you know that puts my mind at ease and it'll be a big celebration when I go back so yeah. Just one last thing, um, we spoke with you, obviously the, the, the head coach and he mentioned how the things you're doing here in the World Cup is going to change dramatically what people think of Women's Rugby League back in Papua New Guinea. Um, what do you think of that and, and the progress that the Women's Rugby League team has made over in PNG over the last few years? Yeah, I think it's definitely um, you know, a good thing. I think that you know, we're competing and um, you know, we're winning games and I think that's you know, inspiring people back home to really get into rugby league, and you know, the support we can get if we can get all the support that we can, we can. Oh, sorry, if we can get all the support that we can get, um, you know, it's such a big thing. And you know, we have so many mums here. Um, you know, daughters, sisters, wives, mothers, and I think you know, it, it inspires the younger generation and just gives us a reason to you know, chase our dreams if this is what we want to chase and I think that's such a great thing for us.